Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we are going to make a travel journal. Come up with something fun that you guys can do with what you already have, or maybe get a few little things and come up with your own. Let's get started. So for this project, I did two books with fabric covers and we have one using a book board. I also will have a template that you're gonna be able to download to see everything that I'm talking about for the sizes that I am using. So if you wanna make the fabric one, on the template it shows you the sizes I used, how I sewed it and put it together. Then I just embellish the outside. Thing is, you're gonna to wanna to use a heavier fabric. So the one that we're actually gonna do is using a book board and I actually used a book to make this journal cover and it is very, very sturdy. What I did is just use a hardcover book that I already had. It has to be at least the size you need and we're gonna cut it down. I used an X-Acto and I cut right here to get that side of the pages out and also on this side and then you just pull your pages out. If you happen to rip your spine or anything while you're doing that, you can use some book cloth tape or just a piece, a heavy strip of fabric and glue it into the inside so it reinforces your spine. In my template, it's gonna tell you the exact sizes that you're gonna need. From this edge to here, the actual front will be four and a quarter and same from the back. From here to here is four and a quarter. And whatever your spine is, is how much room you're going to have to add your inserts. It's eight and a quarter tall, so you might wanna change this depending on the sizes of inserts that you're putting in. But this is what we're using and this is what I've shown in the template. So what I'm gonna do is I found some decoupage paper that I'm gonna put on this book. Once again, you can use whatever you would like, whatever you have, whether it's wrapping paper, tissue paper, you could just paint your book, stamp it, put transfers on, whatever you would like, however you would like your book cover. I decided I'm gonna put my glue on the front of my book instead of my tissue paper. Then it won't soak in quite as quickly and it gives me a little more time to get this on. You are gonna have your creases in your spine, so you wanna make sure you get glue in there, but you don't want it so saturated. I know this side is my front, just using a plastic bag so I don't rip my paper, I'm gonna push into the spine area because you don't want it to rip. So you really want it to form around. I'm just sanding the excess paper off of the front. And you could just cut it. Be careful on the spine area or you can just carefully tear it or cut it because your spine area is a little softer. I'm gonna do the other side the same. Now I'm going to glue the inside. Same way, add the glue to the book and over my fabric reinforcement in the spine. I'm just using a Mod Podge for this, but you could use any type of adhesive you would like. And bring it in to my spine. And then the reason I'm using a plastic bag to get the bubbles out is it has a little less pressure than my fingertips and less likely to tear my paper when I'm trying to get my bubbles out. My paper didn't go all the way to the edge, so I think I am going to add this other piece to the edge, and I tried to find something I thought would be fun. I'm going to sand all of these edges off here. So I'm gonna get some parchment paper, and I am gonna put it over the top of the front and the back, and I'm gonna depress this flat with an iron with no steam. So I've pressed down my paper and got most of the wrinkles out. There are gonna be a few, but that's okay with me. What I want to do next, and then I'm going to put this part aside, is we're going to make holes in our spine on this template. I've kind of given you an idea. You want two at the end, close to each other, and then one in the very center. So I'm using my eyelet hole maker, but you can use anything that can make tiny holes. And you want to make sure you don't go too close to the edge. I will have to manually make the hole in the center. But I've got these holes put in my book and now we are going to put this aside and I'm going to work on my inserts. Okay, so in this template you're going to see how I've done three different folders and what I did is the right side and the left side. I cut this out, I taped it together here so now I have my template for folder three and this is the one that I'm going to show you first. I am using just a manila file folder. The center line will be in the fold of your template. So you draw this on to your file folder. These lines that are dotted on your paper are score lines. The solid lines are the cut lines. 
I know I have this little tab up in here, so I'm just gonna use this punch and just punch it out. But you can also just cut it out. And now I am going to score this line, these two lines, and down in here. I'm gonna bring these back, and these will go up. So I didn't want this file folder stark, and I am just using my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink, but you can use anything you want. And I am just going over this. So you can use any sort of aging technique you would like. I just use a little sponge brush in water and you can see it activates your distressing ink. So if you wanted it a rose color, you could use a rose colored distressing ink and then put water over it and you get this fun look. Okay, so now I am gonna get my parchment paper, go over and iron this so it's nice and flat, and it dries this up. So I've ironed this down, and I've aged What I did for this insert that was a little different, I used envelopes, and I put them in here so you have three pockets here plus the top. I used three coin envelopes, and I cut them, and I used my rounded hole punch to do the top edge. But once again, you can just cut this template out and do a rounded edge up here. If you don't have an envelope, you could just add a quarter inch around this, fold it under, and just tape that down. And then you have an instant pocket. The envelopes just worked well for me. These are the larger coin envelopes, and I'm just layering them here. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to tape these down. I'll start with my first one. I am mostly using a heavy duty double stick tape. You can sew them on. You can use any sort of a strong adhesive. So I'm putting my largest one on there first and just going down. And I'll bring this one a little further down. So I am going to tape this and this edge down. So I have these three pockets plus this large pocket. And then I stamp this up and it gives you an idea. So now we're gonna work on our top piece, which is a book. Here's another page of the template that's included. And what I'm doing is just showing you the layout of the paper sheets for your book. And if you're using this template, you need a two and a quarter by seven inch sheets of paper. And that's what these are. And then when you fold them in the center, they're going to fit right here. Now, if you have a deep stapler, you could just staple them in or you could sew them in. And I'm just gonna do a quick seam down this on my sewing machine. So all I did is just sew this seam and attach it right here, right at the fold. And now I have a book. So let's get to the other two templates. Here is the next template I'm gonna show you. Let's look at this template page. The one thing nice about this page is that they're the same on both sides. So when you do this one, you only need one piece, and this is the center fold right here. All I did after I cut my template out is I put my center fold of my file folder right there. I traced it out. I cut it out as before. I already distressed it like I did my last one. I have these little holes here that I wanted to use. Now you could actually hand cut your holes so you could insert things into them. I have a punch that I am using and I'm doing them both at the same time and I know that they will be lined up where I want them. Put this back, put this down. I'm going to tape these two pieces up Okay, so for our insert folder number two, here are the two template pieces, my right side and my left side. Cut this and tape this on here so this was the center fold. I cut it out of my file folder, putting the center fold in the, the crease of the file folder. I've already aged it. What I have here is a little die cut frame and I am just going to tape this up in here. centering it up in. Okay, once again, I'm gonna tape the two bottom edges. I'm putting a long notepad on this side, and it says folder two, right side, so you know what it goes to. But after you're done with this, you can mix and match and do it any way you would like. I just cut my paper, and you're gonna cut it whatever size you want that's going to fit on there. I cut it and I stapled the top. 
What I'm gonna do next is just take a cute tag or a card, score it, fold it over, attach it, and then attach the back page of this book to here. Now I am just gonna tape the top of this and you could tape the whole back of the book if you'd like or just the top edge right in here. So now that we have the basics of all of our inserts done, I'm gonna decorate these later but I'm gonna show you how to put them into your book, bind them in here. What we are doing is we're gonna be using the holes that we've already made and I'm using this elastic round cording and you can get it in so many different colors so on my template I have a little illustration of how we've done it. Since I have three inserts here, I've cut three pieces 16 inches long. I just took it and doubled what the size of my folder was, and then when you're pulling it, you're going to have enough room. So, so I'm taking my 16 inches of my cording, I'm starting on the inside of the spine, you're going through the first hole and going down to the very bottom, and then you're coming up through the next hole, and you're gonna see just a little piece of the cording. Then you're going to your next hole going up and you're coming out through the top and coming back into the inside. We're skipping the center hole. We're working with these four holes here. Starting at this bottom end and working our way up. And you're gonna take this end. You're gonna pull this a little tightly, but not too tightly, but you want enough grip and tie it in a couple knots. And I'm gonna show this to you, but you're gonna probably wanna put all of those in first. This top layer of elastic that is a little bit longer, you are going to slide your insert in, and that is going to hold that in place. Now I'm gonna pull this out while I put my other elastics in. And since I have three inserts, I'm gonna do this three times. So I'm gonna do this for as many inserts as I have. So I told you I was doing three inserts. Well, I decided I wanted to add a pocket to this. But you're gonna see they have these little holes here and just pop the holes out that I want. And I'm going to use the two end holes. So I started another piece of thread going in from the inside, coming up through the second hole. And then what I'm going to do is string it through here and string it and then back down through here. And I find if I just hold my elastic and pull it, you can see where your holes are again. Back to there, back through the front, to the inside. So I'm gonna tie this off, trim it. I was gonna add all of my inserts into all of these. Now I could do that, but I really wanna show you how I'm doing the center closure. So you can take your two ends and start on the outside. And I made my center hole a little bigger so I could get my two ends through the center hole. I'm just gonna knot just the very, very, very end. Now I am going to grab each of these and bring it through. And I know which ones are my ends because they have the knots on them. So when you tie your cording, you wanna make sure it's firm enough it holds it in, but not so tight that it's ripping all of your paper. After you've embellished all of your, your pages, another thing you can do, open up a notebook and put that in. And I have these adhesive clear pockets that are kind of fun. And now all you have to do is embellish your notebook and anything else you would like to add to the front. When all of that's put together, we're gonna grab this little piece right here and I'm gonna hold it. It's got a knot here, but I'm gonna carefully wrap this around. Kind of get a feel for how you feel like you might need it. I probably wanna knot this a little further down. And you may have to do it a couple times to get to the right spot you want. And with this one, I'm gonna do several knots. So I knotted it and now, I have a closure for my book. At this point, it'd be really cute. You can just embellish it with your stamps. And if there are certain, you could even add tabs if there are certain sections you want to hold certain things. And if you were putting receipts in it, you could label it with receipts or whatever you would like. Whatever you do with this, you can make this very unique for yourself. So I hope you guys thought this was fun. In the link below the video, we're gonna have a template of these 10 pages. Now that you can see what we've done, mix and match, make your own folders. 
Come up with some of your own ideas to make it personal to you. And you're gonna see why the elastic cording is great because if you have one that's full, you can pull it out and even add a new one in or even add more into there. So whether you do it with cloth or you do it with the book board, I really hope you guys try this out. I'll eventually be having a few kits on my shop page, but you may have so many of these things around. I hope you give this a shot, but have fun.